Assalamu alaikum everybody. How are you all? Today is the second last uh, subtopic of the drugs that are treating anemia, okay, and other hemolytic diseases, okay. All right. So today we will talk about the drugs that are acting on the myelite cell and if you can see from the background image so what exactly is happening can anybody tell me about it yes i'm waiting to get more responses what is happening what do you think is happening Kubra, I'm saying that in the background image, okay, which I've inserted on the slide, all right, I want you to think about it and tell me that what is happening to the lady. Um, or you can say, what is the slide actually representing? I want you to think about it. Somebody said neuron firing. What neuron is firing that much that it's going out of the body? No. Somebody is saying kind of swelling. No, it's not swelling. The lady is as it is. What do you think is happening? Okay, what is apart from the lady? Apart from the lady, kindly look in the background. What do you see in the background? Hmm. Girls and boys. Blood cells. Uh, microorganisms. Very good, Sanaullah. Yes. So, in the background, okay, around the lady, there are microorganisms. Now, can you think when there are microorganisms, so what exactly the lady is representing what's happening there hmm. does it not tell you something related to immunity or something that the lady has a shield against uh, you know around her and uh, the lady is being protected from these microorganisms from attacking her from attacking her right okay so we'll today drugs uh, that we we'll deal with the myelite cell okay and we'll study how exactly it is uh, manipulated in order to help us survive in a better condition okay so First of all, uh, before I even start talking about the drugs, I want you to recall uh, that uh, you see um, in the past few classes also, I asked you all to go through these notes, okay, and try to uh, get to it, okay, that what exactly is the cycle and everything. By the way, that brings me to uh, my next lecture as well, that for the next lecture, I want you to recall how exactly the platelets are, uh, you know, uh, they form the blood clotting and, you know, everything related to it, okay? Just recall it through guidance. Just give it, give it a quick go through, okay? All right, coming up here. You see, here is a common myelite uh, progenerator, okay? And then you see here, this is myeloblast, okay? Um, now this myeloblast has the ability to differentiate into basophil, neutrophil, eosinophil, and then monocyte, right? Can any one of you tell me that what exactly is the role of these cells in our body? I say their names again, basophil, neutrophil, eosinophil, monocyte, just a combined overall function, if you can tell in one line, that what do you think 
is the role of the cells which are produced as a result of differenti differentiation of myoblast. I'm waiting. Uh, they are called police of the body. Monocytes do phagocytosis protect from infections. Yes, you all are correct, right? Pacifiers do inflammation, all right? Okay, good. All right. So you see girls and boys, it's very much obvious that uh, these cells, okay, these are type of the WBCs, okay, and they are basically protecting our body, right? Okay, so uh, we want to talk about certain factors, okay, that will enhance their production, okay? All right, Kubra, very good. She's saying that eosinophils do kill specific parasite. All right, let's dig into it. Let's talk about it. How can we promote their synthesis, okay? All right. So when we talk about myolite growth factor, okay, so they are the glycoproteins produced by many cells, including fibroblasts, endothelial cells, macrophages, and immune cells that act to stimulate proliferation and differentiation of one or more myelite, um, myelite lineage, okay? So in short, what exactly they are doing is they are producing, they are making the differentiation faster, right? Okay, so the drugs that we will talk today is, uh, we have first of all, uh, Sargramostim, and then we have Filgrastim, and then we have uh, Pegfilgrastim, peg and then we have Opril uh, Vicine, okay, which is also interleukin 11. Then we have uh, Romiplostim, okay. So, first of all, let's talk about the first drug that we have, which is known as Sygramostim, uh, okay. All right, so it is a recombinant protein expressed in yeast. Its principal action is to stimulate myeloporosis in granulocyte, macrophage pathways, as well as megakaryocytic and erythroid progenitor cells. Okay, so basically, it is promoting their synthesis. Okay, so what's its clinical use? It reduces the duration of neutropenia and incidence of infection in patients receiving. Uh, myelosuppressive chemotherapy or bone marrow transplantation. Uh, before talking more about it, I want to see you this slide, okay, and then we'll read the clinical use again so that you would understand better. So the thing is, whenever somebody receives chemotherapy, okay, so as a result, they develop neutropenia. So what is neutropenia? As you can see in a normal human body, your adequate amount of neutrophil cells. But when a person suffers from neutropenia, that means that the amount of neutrophil cells actually decreases, okay, in quantity. As a result of decreased neutrophils, the person is more prone to infections, all right? So now let's read it again. I hope after reading this again, you will understand it better. So it reduces the duration of neutropenia, all right? If I take this drug okay and incidence of infection in patients receiving uh, chemotherapy or bone marrow transplantation okay so mobilize peripheral blood progenitor cell prior to collection and then for bone marrow graft failure okay we use this medicine now it is administered iv and the most common adverse effect are granulocytosis, which is increased number of neutrophils, okay? Bone pain, fever, nausea, and rash. The other class of drug we, which we want to talk is filgrastim and pegfilgrastim, okay? So these are, uh, wait a minute, okay? 
okay so okay so it is a recombinant protein wait a minute guys all right all right so <clears throat> so these are granulocyte uh, colony stimulating factor okay which we can also call it um, gcsf okay so it is a recombinant protein that stimulates bone marrow production of neutrophils without increasing the numbers of basophil eosinophil or monocytes okay so uh, pegphilgrastim is a filgrastim with a polypropylene glycol molecule added to the n terminal okay so its clinical uses are similar to those of uh, uh sergramostim which is reduction in the duration of neutropenia in patients on anti-cancer regimen and for patients with chronic severe neutropenia so both of these played important role in autologous stem cell transplantation so basically you see whenever a person receives the chemotherapy okay so they might need to uh, go through the stem cell transplantation so that the uh, more and more cells would be developed in a faster way okay so you see there are two kind of uh, two kinds of uh, transplantations of stem cells that can happen okay so one of these is autologous so autologous is that the person who is getting the chemotherapy okay from their bone marrow the stem cells are taken out okay and then they are frozen okay and after the entire process okay they are injected back into the person's body so that they would develop the uh, cells which are needed okay and the second type is uh, the one in which the brothers sisters or anybody who's a close relative they would give the stem cell okay all right then we have opril well uh, opril vecin okay so it is a genetically engineered form of human interleukin 11 so it has a number of biologic activities in hematopoietic lymphopoietic hepatic adipose neuronal and osteoclast cells osteoclast cells are those cells which cleave the which destroy the bone okay resorption may help it there okay so it is used clinically to prevent severe chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia right okay all right so and to reduce the need for platelet transfusion following myelosuppressive chemotherapy for non-myelite malignancies the last one we have dromiplostim okay so it is uh, an engineered peptide that binds to the thrombopoietin receptor it produces a dose dependent increase in platelets after about four to six uh, uh, following the subcutaneous injection okay all right Wait a minute, everybody.